It's called Think Museum. Think Museum. Yeah. Thing about any cultural Just, attraction. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hopefully, well, get the fun. young people interested in. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. In the next that's few weeks, right. you'll see yourself. <laughs> I'm not dressed in costume. Do you want a, an explanation? We have a film that you could oh. we could show you. Th this will help to yeah help you understand what this is about. Yeah, what the fort's about. Different languages. Different language. Oh, well, that's yeah, helpful it, too. It tells the story. What they did is yeah. they contacted the descendants. Did they tell you this? No. They, they contacted the descendants of the original people that came through. And they said, hey, we're, we're putting this together. Would you be interested? And so mm -hmm. they came, built the cabins awesome. themselves. Yeah. And then they donated some things of that the era family. and that yeah. family. And that's where it all comes from. That's so, wonderful. Yeah, there's only one original cabin, and it's the Barton cabin. It's on the other side of the wagons here. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and you'll know for sure that it's mm -hmm. the original. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. And what happened is they had all these little cabins, and as people went to bigger places, the Bartons, like, oh, took their cabin and kind of stuck it on there. So that's okay. why there's several different, like, Design. joining it together. That's mm -hmm. cool. But it's very obvious that it is really old. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Well, thank you. Sure if you have so what, what does your dressing represent? This is not obviously, you know, mm -hmm. exactly, but the pioneer type. So when we work um, yes. in the co-op, mm -hmm. um, we, we dress like this mm -hmm. just to set us apart so yeah. that you know that we're right we're, that we can ask you questions yeah, right. yeah. We're here <laughs> for instead you. of asking me questions yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so the pioneers came here and they came to the church of christ of latter day saints they came to bluff utah so they came to do a lot of um spread the gospel and all that and utah is known to be the place for mormons if you're in this side of utah and uh, this town called bluff make a stop here this is very very interesting and very informative stories about the pioneers that arrived here in bluff and it was, they had a calling to spread the word mm -hmm. um, for for jesus christ and yes. latter-day saints so yes 70 families packed up and came and settled in the four corners region wow this is awesome. You know, I like the way they look at that carpentry. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. That is awesome. No nails or hammers. No nails or hammers, but this is this structure can withstand many years. Even the wagons. Look at this. This is this is very impressive. This is the first pickup truck. Oh yeah, this is the first pickup truck. This is horse pool pickup truck. Yep. Blacksmith shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got oxen shoes. Mm -hmm. Wow, he was he was busy here. And that's him. It's called Amesa Batons Black Smith Shop. It's at the southwest corner of the fort. So the so, so this is the southwest, so where we are now. Look at the backdrop of this place. Very beautiful. Ah. Was her? Oh, I remember. Right, I remember see, it's uh, her. So she started coughing in the oh, afternoon wow. or evening, mm -hmm. and by midnight she was dead. Wow, that's crazy. So that huh? was that was his cabin, a cabin. Yeah. Well, wow. uh, a re redone, redone one, cabin, but yeah, okay. I guess it was in this place. This is Samuel Wood and Justin Wood. So what happened? So there are barons here that shows in English, Francois, Dutch, Italiano, and Espanol. But wow, look at that beam, the first one, yeah. the main one. Wow, 
Some of wood fire. So these are all rebuilt oh, by rebuilt. the descendants. Okay. The original one is this. Okay. This original one. All right. So let's go like this and then finish that. How cool is that? This they is cool. Rebuilt the cabins. Yeah. Wow. And donated stuff, artifacts, and things. This is called minimalist kind of living, right? This you have would your, be perfect you have in your your backyard. You have your fireplace there. You have your bed, and you have your, you know. This is like the perfect size for a, a guest house in the back. Yeah. Right? Yep. It's about 50 maybe. You don't expect your guests to cook. You'll cook for them in the kitchen, right? Look at this. Is the school. It's a school. Check out the school. Oh, that's a school. Wow. This is a good a good class. The determined pioneers who settled here were not solely interested in conquering the land. They placed great importance on educating their hearts and their minds. The glory of God is intelligence, they believed. They had often been admonished to seek learning out of the best books by study as well as by faith. After they arrived, establishing a school became one of their first priorities. But reading and writing and ciphering, as it was called, were a bit different in 1880. Desks were shared with other students, slates were used instead of paper and pencils, and heat in the winter came from a pot-bellied stove. Wow, the beautiful. The house served as the first schoolhouse. The That's bell on here. the south end called children of all ages to school. We don't know why we have this button. We must be looking towards the future. <laughs> that is beautiful. That's awesome. <laughs> Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, that's that's a wheelbarrow. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, scoop, scrap it. Oh. oh, you know what? They still use this back home in in Kenya, in the villages. Oh, with the ox? Yeah, the ox pull that. You know. Wow, this is awesome. I think. So let's look at the first cottage that was here. No, is this a log cabin or These log log cabin, right? The original one is this one over here. I think this is a good idea. That's a to good have your idea. working working spot protruding from the house. Look at that. That is a good idea. That's a good idea. Wow, and this is the oldest. It looked like it had a cow or uh, animal shed or something. Oh, that's them. Um, this is the Barton the well. Barton's well. Barton's well. Very awesome. This is a photo of Bluff cabin that no longer exists. It was a well once. That was a well. It dried, right? And they covered it, I think. Interesting. I think this was for the animals. Yeah. For feeding trough. traps. Yeah. And guess what? Across there is the United States Post Office Bluff, Utah. Awesome stuff going on here in Bluff, Utah. And we're in Bluff so Fort. This is all original. This is all original. This one here, right? Yeah. This cabin. Mm hmm Oh, we can go in, right? It says, watch your step. Original family cabin. Mm-hmm. Joseph Barton, original. Wow. Beautiful. Cool. Wow. So this, this cheese can... Wow. Wow, look at this. Mama had been washing and ironing all week. It wasn't often that we had a picture taken. 
In those days, we had to sit very still while the cap on the lens of the camera was removed and left off for 30 seconds or more. It must have been a daunting task getting seven children not to wiggle, but Mama was determined. Looking so back, I wonder if she somehow knew that this would be our last photograph. Caring oh. for a large family was very hard work, and Mama didn't seem quite herself as we waited the arrival of child number eight. Papa thought Mama would have hurried him to build her new flower bin and cupboard when he brought some wood for her from one of his freighting trips. Mama kept Papa busy with other jobs and he never got around to the cupboard. It was as if she had a premonition. Mama passed away a few days after giving birth to my youngest brother, Ray Wesley. Papa had been laying out the wood for Mama's well, cupboards, later, but instead the used died. the good wood mm -hmm. for her coffin. Oh, it was hard to be happy after Mama died. Sometimes I would sit in her rocking chair and look at that last photograph hour after hour. I could almost feel her comforting me. We cannot see things clearly now, but there's one thing I know. One day we will all be together again. Hanny Barton Hammond, 1896. Wow. Interesting. There was a lot of um, mm -hmm. women dying. Yeah, that childbirth. time, right? Huh? Yeah. But they also didn't because know they, to wash hands back but then. They had an outhouse there. Oh yeah, there's another one over there too. Mm -hmm. They got the moon marked on it. Yeah. A moon? Oh, wait, this isn't an outhouse, is it? <laughs> yep, so we're here in Bluffort, Utah. And we're just looking at, um, you know, this particular fort was by the pioneers. Seventy of them came here to spread uh, the gospel of the word of the Church of Christ of Letter Letter Day Saints, and they came here and created this beautiful spot for themselves. So this is pretty awesome. Wow, this looks good. This looks beautiful. It looks beautiful, look at that. So we just came from the original log cabin and that was the cabin of Joseph Barton. Morning. So were these toys for the children to play with? Oh, okay. People could tell you. Yeah, okay. A kid would want to get on them, wouldn't they? Yeah, right, that's what I'm thinking. That's, yeah, that's the That is awesome. Traditional Ute home site. Ah, let me see how the tipi looks like. So the tipi looks like. That's how a tippy looks like. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Look at this tippy. It's awesome.
probably more than one already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to visit some of those YouTube channels. Oh, yeah. yeah. Think museums. There yep. you go. Yeah. We'll have yeah. to do that. All right. Fun, fun job for you guys, though. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Yep, thanks. This place is called Bluff, Utah. That's how it looks like. Uh, we just came from this place in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, we are looking at some of the, uh, the pioneers that came here in the 1800s. There are 70 of them and they started this place. So, uh, it's a replica of the Bluff Meeting House, which is that one there. But we're just gonna walk around. So this is more of Mormon country. A lot of cool stuff going on here. Look at those rock formation back there. 